Welcome guys to TechPress. My name is Steven. I'm going to be showing you how to move an actual image, a actual still image, and do this into Canva totally for free. So the very first thing you want to do is to locate an actual image that has a lot of layers. I'm going to be doing this in two out of three different ways so we can try to look out for the best uh, tool that can be fitable for you or you need it. So uh, as you can see, I have this mountain that I have chose that I can see that it has more than I have one, two, maybe four layers that I can try to use to later on try to animate here into Canva. So if you wanted to get started here, what you want to do is to download out Photoshop and if you don't have Photoshop, I can totally suggest you to use a free tool that is called Photopea. So what I wanted to do uh, to use Photoshop actually, because what you want to do is to try to, uh, let's say, cut some layers and later on I can make the animation inside Canva. So uh, you can do this inside Canva of course, but it's going to be a little bit more tough than that. So what I want to do is to either choose Photoshop or use Photopea. Photopea is a little bit, let's say, um, similar to Photoshop. So this one is actually totally for free. So this is like uh, really, really a lifesaver. So what I want to do is to make the download of my image and then later on I want to import that into Photopea and as you can see I'm now inside here. So what I want to do is to choose the actual magic wand and if I click let's say for example this element what I want to do is to try to locate the actual layer so then later on I can separate this for the actual new one layer and then later on I can use um, just drag and drop right so let's go and look out for this actual lasso select and then later on what I want to do is to just scratch this like this and then I'm gonna just make the movement like this I'm gonna select all the elements of my layer of my image you don't have to do this like too professional you just want to uh, select as much as you can like this there we go so then what I want to do is to click into the right part and hit into copy and then later on I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna paste the actual layer here so if I unselect that I now have this layer on so I'm gonna do exactly the same thing but with the other element so let's go ahead and select our lasso once again I'm gonna select this element I'm gonna make the movement like here And there we go. As you can see, now we have different layers so we can make the actual movement. I didn't do this actually like uh, too professional. Then later on, I can just try to redrag and drop and all that. But I think that I, we have now selected the elements that's going to be helping us to make the actual movement. So what I want to do is to select the four images here. And then I'm going to choose to file. I'm going to go for export as a PNG file. And then later on, I want to go one by one. So then later on, I can try to move this into Canva. There we go. So now that we have successfully done this, let's go into Canva and let's try to actually make the, the movement of our actual image. So here into Canva, what I want to do is to go into create a design and you want to choose video. So here into video, I want to just import my images that I have just downloaded. Let's go for plus like this. And then let's go and try to look out for another kind of template because I think that we what we can do is to we okay, head down with the mountain. Let's go for elements. Let's go for sunset mount. So let's see for example that we use this image. There's a lot of movement here, but I don't want to see the water so i'm going to just free drag and drop like this so now that we have chosen that element let's go into uploads and upload uh all our layers our different layers that we have just selected to import those into our actual images so i'm going to hit now into upload and then what i need to do is just to make the actual movement of my images like this this is number one i can add the actual image number two here, here appears of course in here i'm gonna re drag and drop the image number three i'm not pretty sure if this one is actually like too important but i'm gonna add all of them and there we go so what i want to do now is to make all these elements look a little bit more big enough so i can make the actual movement of those so let's select let's say for example this one i'm gonna make this like like this there we go so i'm going to make this a little bit more big enough now let's say for example like this because i wanted to use more elements here there we go 
and then later on what I want to do is to choose animate so here into animate I can create an actual animation so here I just need to select my actual uh, mouse and move this let's say for example like this like to slow right so take a look into how it's actually looking here or until element path like there you go so I can move this like say for example the speed a little bit less than that and I want to do exactly the same thing with all the other elements that I have just chose. So I'm going to make this a little bit like this, choose this one and make this a little bit more big enough like that and I want to of course move this into, into the forward, into the front like this and then later on I'm going to do exactly the same thing with this new element which is actually this one and once again I'm going to bring this to the front and there you go. Take a look at the actual movement of my image. So I make that the actual element moved with the actual layers. So this is the reason why I told you guys that maybe what you can do is to try to use, let's say for example, like another background. So you can see that the clouds or it's raining or whatever. So you want to choose a similar image, a similar background. So you can see, you can have like the uh, element now a little bit new, looks a little bit like better than that. So what I want to do is to delete this one and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the actual element that we have just added. So I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to select this one for example here. So for example if I choose the layer and I send this to the back, take a look into the actual colors. So what I can do is to try to make a little color correction here. So this one is going to be felt a little bit more into my image. So I'm going to make this a little bit more warmer. Uh, the brightness I'm going to leave it like this. The contrast, I believe it's okay to leave it like that. I have the shadows, the highlights, and then later on I can change the vibrance like this. And the saturation, of course, I'm going to make this a little bit more like that. And then later on I can go back into the very first part of my image and go into play. Now take a look into, I'm going to hit it, of course, from here and take a look into the actual elements that are now moving. So later on, once I make the actual process of the playable stuff, uh, later on, I can just delete the path that I don't want to see. For example, here it does not appear as one stuffed. I don't want to see the fade. And then later on, what I want to do is to make some treatments so we can do something like this. So if I go into create a new page, I want to go into my elements, for example, here. And now let's say that I wanted to look out for some mountains. And here into graphics. So here into graphics, let's say that I wanted to use exactly the same process. So I'm going to select, for example, this image. I'm going to make this a little bit more big enough like this. And there we go. So what I want to do now is to make this a little bit more, a little bit more bigger than my image like this. So I'm going to make the actual element to be animated as we did before with the actual layer. So I'm going to choose pan or drift like this i'm going to make this the intensity look a little bit less than that there we go and then i'm going to look out for elements let's go for sunset and here into sunset i can choose uh all see all and i have all the different graphics for example let's say that i wanted to choose something like this for example and then later on i can just leave it like that since this is a background we don't want to move it we just want to leave it into the back side so let's go for layer sent to the back and there we go so if you wanted to make this a little bit more brighter i can try to rotate this like that and there we go so lastly let's see that i wanted to add like some bicycles to go for bicycle here there we go so i'm gonna hit now into graphics and i have actually this guy that is actually making the movement of the bicycle so i'm gonna just move this a little bit more smaller like this and then later on, I can add a black color so I can emulate the actual layer of the movement. So here into lines and shapes, you can leave this like that. I'm going to make this a black color. I'm going to move this. Let's say, for example, I'm going to leave it like this. So see how we can make the actual movement of my image like just by making our font, our layer move from one place into another one. So lastly, if you just want to make this look like if this was an actual video, I can tell you just to play around with the actual elements of your 
uh, of your images. For example, here, this one has uh, some black colors. I can make this like a little bit more uh, darker, maybe. Instead of a blue, I can choose like this element and make this like like this so this is how guys we can actually make movements into our images here with that being said guys we have not reached into the very end of the video so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing toys about the actual camera thank you so much for watching the video and with that being said i'll see you next time